Good morning and welcome to Mr Shaves. I'm going to be shaving with some things for you to consider. But the main thing is I'm going to be shaving with a straight razor. A straight razor. <clears throat> this is a cheap one. You can get a load. You can spend over £300 on one of these things. This is a really cheap one. Just so that you can take that step up and have a go. I would obviously say that these are blooming sharp. This was from Timu and it's sharp as it was i've honed i stropped it which is when you get like a leather thing that kind of aligns the blade um and uh, i haven't sharpened it with a with a stone but it's pretty sharp as it is and that was like three pounds something like that on team so it's really important to prepare your skin if you're going to step into this so you need to put a bit of hot water on your face get your skin ready which I've done before this, I'm just demonstrating. You want to get a flannel. You want to get some pre-shave stuff. This one is Dawn of Glory. Dawn of Glory. It's Dawn of Glory from Goodfellas Smile. The whole thing is Goodfellas Smile shaving today. There you go. There's no smell at all to this. I like a nice slight smell, but there's no smell. I'm going to be using also Goodfellas Smile Pinot Noir Pastre Shave Soap, which smells like, imagine a pine tree shoved up your nostrils. That is this. And post shave is Pinot Noir Pastre Post Shave Splash, which is good as well. Brush, a mega brush. Or hair. This one's good. It's given to me by my stepdaughter many moons ago. And bowl, cheap one from Sainsbury's, terracotta. It was like three pounds, four pounds. So that's been soaking in there. You soak it in there because then it absorbs some of the water. Uh, and now we put on the Dawn of Glory pre-shave gel. This one doesn't. It's just trans. It's just see through. No smell, it's sticky. When you're using a straight razor, it's important just to prepare your skin. Because your skin, if you haven't used this sort of stuff, it's only used to little blades. Little, little blades. Five of them on a blade, on a cartridge. Five. Yeah, this is a proper blade. Yeah. <laughs> So, Pinot Pastry is a shave soap. Smells nice. Smells very, very piney. There you go. It's nice. So we're gonna do the circles. Like I say every time, you can do this. You pick it up. You can do it in there. I think ideally you're meant to do it on your face, but I tend to wear black, so I do not want soapy stains all over my black top. So I do, I put it, I decant it into the bowl, into the shaving bowl. There we go. I'm just doing that now. You can't see because it's far too complicated. So I do. Right. Decant it into the bowl. And then you lob it on. So it doesn't take much. Now that will beat any foam that you can buy, shave foam, just the cheap ones. Just think, this was like £10 and that will last for a long, long time. Just basically just rub the brush around and I get all that. Shave foams, it's always pretty much the same, menthol or just non-smelling or just a soapy smell. When you step out of that and you can all these variations for you to enjoy. Plus, it's good for your skin. I'm just going to move the hair so I don't shave my hair off. The boar hair is good because it pushes into the skin. It's thicker than some of those cheap ones that are just synthetic, I think, sometimes. Pushes into the skin. 
and that's what you want you want to get that protection and that lubrication also this does a remarkable job of preventing it your skin from drying out there you go I do believe I'm ready so flannel on the side of the sink I usually fold it over and the reason why is when you are shaving with a razor you don't rinse it in the water you because otherwise you could knock it against the, the basin side you just wipe it like that onto the cloth and then you can unfold the cloth and fold it around so it's got a fresh bit of unsoaked you know, cloth just a little tip so here we go this is the straight razor and don't just do this if you haven't done it before the angle is really important because otherwise you'll get your skin off so really be careful it's worth having a go it's little little kind of movements as opposed to big confident ones it's not a um you know cassette well what am i talking it's not one of those disposables you're used to that this is different this will harm you plastic end so it kind of makes every cut slightly louder like a little you could use this as some sort of skillet music instrument couldn't you hi I'm Billy Bob and I'm gonna be playing the razor blade good thing about a razor is if you've got a beard it's good for the lines it's really helpful then you can just do just following the line of the beard look at that it just cuts through this is like three pounds nothing And if the world all goes to pot and there's manic hysteria on the streets and the shops stop selling you've got these which will keep you a shaved and tidy presentable gentleman amongst chaos You'll get to know the kind of the more you do it, the more you'll get to work out the the little movements. They're really important because you can't just slang it around. If I rested that on my skin, it would just make a cut. Okay, so the top bit is tricky for bearded people because oh, non-bearded people. Because you, you can't really get that in underneath the nose. But if you use the nose as a bulkrum, it does work. Just doing that feels nice because we're shaving with a minty feeling, uh, not minty, piney, pine forest. That's a nice sharp blade. So if you're starting out, you don't have to spend loads and you can, it's cheap enough for you to try and then put it in the wardrobe and never use it again.
That's good. It feels good. I hope you're all well. There's a few things going on in the world, which I won't comment on on this channel, but whew, it's a lot going on, isn't it? Here we are, just shaving. All right, so done phase one. I want to kind of just have a look at the beardy top bit, and you can kind of see it. Just rub it off gently, so you've still got some of the soapy stuff, and then you can really pick out any kind of hairs that are just out of the line. And that's pretty much done. So there you go, so that's that. It's a straight razor, it's really smooth. That's done a good job. It's baby's bum smooth. And that was three pounds. And that is good for your skin. And it's the, the soap's good for your skin. The pre-shave stuff is good for your skin. I mean, I'm 70 years old. So, the smell, you know, just like you've got a horrible morning doing something and you've had a nice pine forest shave, you're like dancing through the pine forest, skipping through the bluebells with the, the pine trees. That's what it feels like in the morning. It feels like I'm literally skipping. Post shave, Pinot or Bastre, um, Goodfellas smile. Put a bit of splash on there and well that smells just as good it's got a bit of alcohol and you can feel that burn but that's good because any open wounds any kind of cuts or nicks or just sensitive areas are blasted with that stuff and it stops any infection so there you go come and join me on my regular stuff and have a nice day and shave and be in a bond you don't know. Bye.